What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the resume that got me my first software developer job as a self-taught developer. Before I begin, I want to preface that the whole point of having a resume is to land an interview. Getting that interview is probably the toughest part of the process, but hopefully today you can learn some things from my resume. With that being said, let's begin. All right, to start things off, just wanted to say that I created this uh, resume using HTML and CSS. Overall, it wasn't too difficult. It took me a couple of days. I basically looked at a template on Google Images, something that I liked, and I went ahead and just copied it. Uh, just went through the HTML and CSS to design it the way the copy looked like. And over here, you can see my name is um, up here in the top corner, something large in large print where the recruiter, if they're glancing over your resume, can see your name and be able to uh, remember that. Also, under that, I have just the random th uh, things that usually are always on a resume, your email address, uh, your phone number. Um, and if you're a developer, I would suggest putting your portfolio as like a clickable link and also your LinkedIn profile and your GitHub. Uh, those are vital things that I think you should have on a resume. That's a very important section, especially if you do have an interview, the hiring manager can look at your resume and they can click on these links and be able to check out your portfolio. Also under this, another very important section is the skills section. I would encourage you not to overload it too much. I would put anywhere from eight to 10 skills. Um, but a good thing about creating my resume using HTML and CSS is that I could choose the font size and I could fit a lot of extra stuff on one page. And I chose to uh, put these skills. These are actually also changing on every single resume depending on what's in the job description. So if it was um, a front-end role, I would put more front-end skills, or if it was full stack, I would put some of the back-end skills that I knew as well. And that's a very important section that I would encourage you to look at the job description that you're applying to and put some of the skills that you have um, that match on the job description. Also, I would definitely highly encourage you not to put anything you're uh, not comfortable with. If you do that, then if you end up getting an interview, they're going to realize you don't know what you're talking about. So I would just encourage you to be truthful and put what you know under that section. Also under here, I have my education. Um, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, I do, I have a degree in business entrepreneurship, but I don't have a degree in computer science under the work experience part. I'd seen from some videos of some other developers that were self-taught and they would say that, you know, I would leave off any work experience you have that doesn't pertain to software development. And there are others that said you should put the work experience that you have that way. They, they know that you just, you haven't just been you know, doing coding and that you actually have some work experience that you uh, have in the past. And I actually tried out, tried it both ways. And when I just had like a uh, developer experience down here, like some of the projects I had, um, it really didn't work out. So I, I ended up putting my work experience that I had. So I was an analyst at an investment company for over two years. So I put that in uh, in my work experience and underneath here, I went ahead, instead of saying project experience, I went ahead and just said software developer. Um, I, I would honestly, you can put whatever you want here. I would say either project experience or you could put front end developer or software developer, just something to catch the attention of the um, recruiter if they're glazing over your your resume and under here I have the two best projects that I had I have under the title here the technologies I used react express.js frameworks node.js and mongodb um, and then also this is a very important section these uh, bulletins here 
Um, and here you really want to uh, match some keywords to the job description and uh, explain some of the things that you learned during the project or some of the things that you accomplished. Um, and if you can fit more projects, uh, that's that's awesome. But I would encourage you to fit at least two of the projects that you're uh, more comfortable with and that show off the most skills. Uh, I picked both these projects because they were the latest ones I had done and they were both full stack applications. And I felt comfortable explaining how I um, created the application. And the, the last section I have up here is my professional summary. So not many people do a um, cover sheet anymore. I honestly have never done one. And I think this is a great area to just explain your situation. You want to make sure that, you know, you, you want to show off your, your desire to become a, a programmer. You want to explain why you made that switch. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to read this part. Um, it's possible that no one will ever read that part. But I just had it in there because I thought it would be a great uh, way to explain my situation. Um, but this is the resume that got me uh, my first job. It's, it's nothing crazy. I would encourage you to put any experience, professional experience you have over here and also put your project experience because if you... you if you're not a, uh, if you don't have a computer science degree, you don't have any experience in software development. So you want to, your experience is your projects. So uh, you want to put your best projects over here. And also, I just want to uh, reiterate about how how important it is to match your resume to the job description. Um, there's tons of companies that are using an, the applicant tracking system and they'll weed out candidates based off of their resume without even having a recruiter look at it. So it's very important to look at the job description and also look at uh, the requirements, see if you even can do it based off the skills you've learned. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.